Antarctica is without a doubt the most mysterious continent on the planet. Yes, this frozen wasteland holds many secrets. And with terrain that's almost impossible to navigate, it's likely that we will never find out exactly what lingers beneath the ice and snow of this shady landscape. Many explorers have tried and failed to conquer Antarctica, and in so doing have unearthed some unsettling discoveries, from the alien meteorite that may hold the secrets of our solar system, to the legendary shipwreck that was once sailed by the iconic Arctic explorer, Ernest Shackleton. These are the 20 unsettling discoveries in Antarctica nobody can explain. Antarctic scientists discover 18 kilogram meteorite. Some people actually believe that Antarctica is home to a colony of super advanced aliens living on planet Earth and hiding in the frigid conditions of the world's most inaccessible continent. But what if we told you there actually was evidence of aliens in Antarctica? Yep, it's totally true, but maybe not what you think. It was a surprise of galactic proportions for the international team of scientists at Belgium's Princess Elizabeth Antarctica Research Base when they discovered the largest meteorite in nearly 25 years, a whopping 18 kilograms or 40 pounds, on the Nansen ice field. It was part of a haul of 425 rocks with a total weight of 75 kilograms. Initial field analysis suggests the meteorite is an ordinary chondrite, the most abundant kind of meteorite. And thanks to its eroded fusion crust, the scientists were able to inspect the rock underneath. The meteorite is currently undergoing a special thawing process in Japan, where it will be carefully examined to unlock the secrets of our solar system. Who knows what new information this giant rock will reveal? We hope that this intergalactic meteorite will shed some light on the universe beyond planet Earth. Maybe this alien rock will even prove that there is extraterrestrial life out there in space. How awesome would that be? What they just discovered in Antarctica terrifies the entire world. This old black and white photo has got the entire internet talking, and we can see why. Wrapped in thick furs, this mysterious couple appear to be exploring the tundra together and it's unclear as to exactly what they have found. It looks as if they have stumbled across a herd of strange frozen creatures stuck forever in the snow. Now that's one strange scene. No experts have been able to verify this unexplainable image. So, we'll let you guys come to your own conclusions. Let us know what you think by using the hashtag OpenDiscussion in the comment section below. Ice Fish Colony Imagine seeing tens of millions of fish eggs lurking on the ocean floor. It would be pretty creepy, right? And what if you found them in an ocean so cold you would never expect to find any signs of life? Well, that's what happened when this team of scientists headed under the chilly waters of the southernmost continent. Explorers of Antarctica's deep sea have made a shocking discovery, a colony of ice fish that's nearly the size of London. This team of biologists was simply collecting data when they stumbled upon a whopping 60 million active nests, extending across an area of 240 kilometers. To put this into perspective, the largest colony ever seen before this discovery was a meager 60 nests. It's clear that the entire ecosystem of the Weddell Sea is affected by this colossal number of nests. After all, seals must be feeding on these fish. The sheer amount of food available must be influencing the Antarctic waters too. So these mysterious eggs actually have a huge impact on the rest of the world. But that's not all. The colony is made up of an impressive 1,700 eggs per adult fish, and the team have never seen anything like this before. Wow, 1,700 children sure is a lot of mouths to feed. Yes, this epic colony really is a true marvel of nature, and a discovery that will be remembered for years to come. How could you ever forget stumbling across something as jaw-dropping as this? Pyramid in Antarctica There's still so much we don't know about Antarctica, but could there really be a lost society living there that we don't know about? Could there be buildings, villages, and even cities that we are completely oblivious to sitting right under our noses? Well, some conspiracy theorists certainly seem to think so. The internet is a buzz about a mysterious pyramid-shaped mountain located in the Antarctic Ellsworth Mountains. Was it created by an ancient civilization? Are aliens involved? No one knows for sure. The truth is that this majestic peak doesn't even have a name. It was discovered by American aviator Lincoln Ellsworth in 1935. 
Experts believe the pyramid-like shape is the result of freeze-thaw erosion. During the day, snow or water fills the cracks in the mountain. When the night falls and temperatures drop, the snow freezes and expands, creating larger and larger cracks. This process breaks off large rock sections, eventually leading to the pyramid shape we see today. So while some may attribute the pyramid-shaped mountain to aliens or an ancient civilization, the real story behind it is much more mundane. It's a reminder that nature can create incredible things without any help from the paranormal. Who knew that snow could fall in perfect pyramid shapes? We certainly didn't. Life under ice these geologists were setting off on an expedition to the southern edge of Antarctica's Weddell Sea, armed with a hot water drill and a GoPro camera, when they made a startling discovery. After drilling a hole through the 3,000-foot thick ice and lowering the camera into the dark icy depths below, they were surprised to find colonies of stationary animals attached to a boulder. It was an extreme environment, totally unlike anything they'd seen before, but even more surprising was the fact that it was teeming with life. Upon closer inspection, the team counted 16 sponges and at least 22 unidentified animals, all waving their stalks in the pitch-black darkness. It's slightly bonkers, lead study author Hugh Griffiths of the British Antarctic Survey exclaimed. Never in a million years would we have thought about looking for this kind of life, because we didn't think it would be here. Despite the fact that the boulder was situated 150 miles away from the open ocean, it's estimated that the nearest plant life could be up to 1,000 miles away. So, how did these organisms manage to survive? Well, experts reckon they must be feeding on the floating material from other animals or plants, since photosynthesis is impossible in the sunless, icy depths they inhabit. What an amazing discovery! This unexpected discovery of life just goes to show that there are so many things we don't know about this planet. Yep, a brand new discovery is always around the corner. And it's pretty exciting to think there may be loads more undiscovered life forms living under the ice. Who knows what else can be found beneath the giant ice shelves? Iceberg Antarctica it's a titanic-like event for the Antarctic. Get ready for Iceberg Palooza, as a colossal chunk of ice nearly the size of Greater London has broken off from the ice shelf near a research station. This is the second such split in two years, but researchers have reassured the worried general public that it was a natural process. It doesn't stop it being any less scary, though. The British Antarctic Survey has measured the new iceberg at an astounding 1,550 square kilometers which is 598 square miles. It had been 10 years since scientists first noticed the massive cracks in the ice shelf, and this event proves that their predictions were correct. Sooner or later, a humongous chunk was about to break off. Thankfully, the Haley 6 research station, which monitors the floating ice shelf daily, is unaffected and safe by the massive crack. The mobile research base was relocated inland for safety reasons back in 2016, and since then, staff have only been deployed during the Antarctic summer. Currently, 21 brave researchers are on site. We can't imagine how terrifying it must be to have a block of ice the size of London heading towards your office. But it just goes to show that being a scientist is a lot more dangerous than you might think. Yikes! Rectangular Iceberg this insane iceberg has gone viral. Operation Iceberg, NASA's longest-running aerial survey of polar ice, flew over the northern Antarctic Peninsula on October 16, 2018, and uncovered something truly remarkable, a square iceberg fit for an alien landscape. Icebridge senior support scientist Jeremy Harbeck spotted the perfectly cut tubular iceberg floating among sea ice, just off the Larsen Sea ice shelf and snapped a photo that was so strange and entrancing. NASA just had to share it. You know it's something special when NASA is even shocked by it. Harbeck said, I thought it was pretty interesting. I often see icebergs with relatively straight edges, but I've not really seen one before with two corners at such right angles like this one had. It turns out that this square berg had a rougher berth than what was originally believed. Satellite images showed that it split from Antarctica's splintering Larsen Sea ice shelf behind a much larger curved iceberg called A68, and made its way north into clogged icy water. The squareberg is a tabular iceberg, essentially a chunk of flat ice that broke off the ice shelf and is sliced so smoothly that it appears unnatural. Deliberately cut, even. Yes, some internet commentators have weighed in on the giant square iceberg and claimed that it must be man-made. 
as no natural process could have produced a block of ice so perfectly rectangular. We're not sure why someone would do this, and we're on the side of the scientists with this one. Nature is full of surprises. Mount Erebus Mount Erebus is an awe-inspiring stratovolcano located in the Terror Rift of the West Antarctic Rift System, making it the highest and most active volcano in Antarctica. We don't know about you, but the Terror Rift doesn't exactly sound like an enticing tourist destination. Its activity has been raging for an incredible 1.3 million years and shows no signs of slowing down. This volcanic wonderland is truly a sight to behold, with its 60-foot tall icy towers formed from the unique combination of superheated steam and sub-freezing temperatures. It is also the most southerly active volcano in the world, with a whopping 3,795 meters of fiery height reaching from its cauldron. We can't help but imagine the sinister Mount Doom from the Lord of the Rings movies. At the summit of Mount Erebus lies an astonishing lava lake with temperatures reaching up to 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit. This incredible phenomenon is one of only five such lakes in the world, and the lake has been active since 1972. It even produces up to six Strombolian eruptions on a daily basis. This incredible volcano was discovered in 1841 by polar explorer Sir James Clark Ross, who arrived to find it in full eruptive mode. That must have been quite a shock. Yes, there's no doubt about it, Mount Erebus truly is one of the most incredible and phenomenal ultra mountains in the world. We bet you didn't think one of the most epic volcanoes on our planet would be in Antarctica, did you? Brinicle in Antarctica. Ah, the icy finger of death, also known as the dreaded Brinicle. Yep, deep sea explorers know this creepy sight all too well, but what is this bizarre Brinicle? Well, it all starts when salty water from an iceberg melts and sinks into the deep sea, forming a creepy finger-shaped chunk of ice. The salty sea brine has such a low temperature that it quickly freezes, creating this spooky natural formation. But before you swim away in fear, it's worth noting that this brinicle may have been the source of all life on Earth. Yep, the single-cell organisms that eventually became fish and then creatures that could walk on land all started right here inside the brinicle. There are high concentrations of fats and chemical compounds that coat the walls and form a primitive membrane. It's truly amazing when you think about it. Who knew that a sinister frozen finger in the sea could have been the beginning of mankind? So the next time you see a brinicle, don't be afraid. Remember that it's an incredibly important part of the ecosystem, and it could very well be one of our ancient ancestors. It's weird to think that we all might have come from a deep sea brinicle. You really do learn something new every day. Antifreeze blood. Did you know that there was a fish with antifreeze for blood? Yep, back in 1927, the zoologist Dietlaf Rustad took a daring plunge into the icy waters of the Antarctic and discovered this mysterious fish. This extraordinary creature has evolved some extraordinary features to survive the frigid Arctic oceans. One of its most fascinating features is its transparent blood. Can you imagine? Yep, while we humans have deep red blood, the ice fish's blood is practically invisible. This strange fish has adapted to the bone-chilling depths of the Antarctic by living without the hemoglobin, the molecule that carries oxygen through our bodies. The ice fish also lacks scales and has two dorsal fins with long spines. It can grow up to 30 inches in length and is sometimes referred to as the crocodile fish due to its oddly shaped skull. Who knew that blood could be made of antifreeze? The Arctic truly is amazing. It's like being on another planet. Ice shelf. The world is changing every day, and in Antarctica, it's more noticeable than anywhere else. The South Pole was hit with an unprecedented heat wave, and it has caused a massive ice shelf the size of New York City to collapse in East Antarctica. Yep, an entire city made of ice has fallen into the sea. And if that wasn't bad enough, this historic event marks the first time in human history that such a thing has happened in the Antarctic region. That can't be a good thing. Temperatures soared to 40 degrees Celsius warmer than average, and even reached above freezing at 7 degrees in one coastal station. That's a pretty warm day when you live in Antarctica. The Conger Ice Shelf, which was a permanent floating sheet of ice attached to land for thousands of years and helped hold back snow and ice, that would otherwise flow into the ocean has been completely lost. Unfortunately, this is not the first time we've seen changes in the frozen continent. With ice melt and loss having been a great concern for the last 20 years, 
And according to NASA, an average of 149 billion tons of ice has been lost from Antarctica every year from 2002 to 2020. Whoa, 149 billion tons? That's a whole lot of ice! Now, scientists are trying to determine whether the heat wave was the direct cause of the collapse, and if land ice will be further destabilized. If so, sea levels across the globe could rise by more than 160 feet. Yep, you heard us right. With sea levels rising that high, some of us might be living underwater one day. Blood falls. It might look freaky, but it's totally natural. No need to be scared of this blood-curdling waterfall, because it's not a scene from a horror movie, but a real-life phenomenon. For centuries, scientists have been trying to solve the mystery of why the Taylor Glacier in Antarctica turns a shocking shade of crimson. People had assumed it was due to red algae blooms, but thorough testing proved that wasn't the case. Can you imagine being an Arctic explorer and coming across these sinister-looking falls? It's enough to make you shiver. But don't worry, it's just a natural occurrence. It turns out that deep under the glacier, there's a brine with extremely high iron content. Permanently trapped underneath thick layers of ice, this brine doesn't get any oxygen, except when it escapes through microscopic cracks. When the iron-rich water meets oxygen, it rusts, and the water takes on a gruesome red hue. So if you're planning a trip to Antarctica, don't be afraid of these creepy falls, because there's plenty more things on this harsh continent that can kill you. The blood falls really are the least of your worries. Don Juan Pond This incredibly salty body of water was named after the two helicopter pilots who discovered it in 1961 and it's been mystifying scientists ever since. At just four inches deep, this strange alien pond is more like a puddle than a lake. But even though it's incredibly shallow, researchers are still baffled by this body of water after six decades of study. Located in the McMurdo Dry Valley of Antarctica, it has a saline content of nearly 40%, making it one of the saltiest lakes on Earth. But experts can't quite figure out exactly where this water is coming from. Even when temperatures drop to minus 50 degrees Celsius, this mind-blowing pond doesn't freeze over, remaining in liquid form. Researchers have even used the Don Juan Pond to try and hypothesize what water might look like in another inhospitable environment, like planet Mars. Yep, this lake may be no more than a puddle, but it might just hold the secrets to extraterrestrial life in our universe. This pond might seem Martian, but it exists right here on Earth, allowing scientists to monitor and figure out what life might look like for humans if we move to the red planet. What do you guys think? Would you ever move to Mars? Let us know in the comment section below. Southern Ocean Ahoy, land lovers! Get ready to explore the Southern Ocean, otherwise known as the Antarctic Ocean, one of the five great ocean basins on Earth. This majestic body of water formed around 34 million years ago when Antarctica and South America drifted apart. And it's now the only ocean that circles the globe with no land getting in its way. Like a moat around the continent. This part of the sea is known for its fierce winds, intense storms, dramatic seasonal changes, and icy temperatures all of which play a role in regulating the global climate. The Antarctic Circumpolar Current, also known as the ACC, is the longest, strongest, and deepest reaching current in the world. And it circulates clockwise around the continent and carries more water than any other current. Each winter, Antarctica experiences one of the most remarkable seasonal changes on the planet. The Southern Ocean turns into a fringe of sea ice, almost doubling the size of Antarctica. This winter sea ice covers around 11 million miles, which is around the twice the size of the United States of America. We bet the penguins and the polar bears love all that newfound space to roam about. So, grab your compass and set sail. There's plenty of adventure to be found in the Southern Ocean if you're brave enough to navigate these rough seas. We don't know about you guys, but we're happy to explore Antarctica from the warmth and safety of our own home. McMurdo Dry Valleys Welcome to the McMurdo Dry Valleys, one of the most extreme deserts on the planet. An area so inhospitable, it's almost like another world. Yep, we bet you didn't think the world's most extreme desert would be somewhere in Antarctica. But here we are. Located on the western coast of McMurdo Sound, the McMurdo Dry Valleys form the largest ice-free area in Antarctica. When Captain Scott and his expedition crew discovered the Dry Valleys in 1903, they thought the region was completely devoid of life. Little did they know that a variety of aquatic ecosystems are thriving in the harsh climate, due to glacier melt streams that flow into the frozen lakes. The unique conditions in the Dry Valleys are caused in part by catabatic winds. 
which pull cold, dense air downhill by the force of gravity, making it one of the most hostile environments on Earth. Despite the extreme conditions, species like cyanobacteria, with their dark pigments for protection from high UV rays, have adapted to survive. And due to the lack of other plants or animals competing with them, they have been able to thrive in this otherwise barren landscape. So if you're looking for a place that's truly out of this world, look no further than the McMurdo Dry Valleys. This unusual landscape has intrigued scientists all over the globe for over a century, and they are still learning brand new information from the mysterious McMurdo Dry Valleys. Antarctica truly is full of surprises. Glacier Calving It's no secret that the glaciers of Greenland and Antarctica hold three quarters of the world's fresh water. But with the greenhouse effect, these frozen behemoths are melting faster than ever. If the trend continues, glacial melt could raise the sea level around the world by a whopping 250 feet, enough to sink coastal communities all over the globe. Climate scientists are paying close attention to the migration and melting of Earth's glaciers, as well as the volume of sea ice, broken off in catastrophic events called calving. As temperatures of both air and ocean continue to rise, calving is increasing. So, what does glacier calving look like? Well, just take a look. Shockingly, it can take a mere 75 minutes for a glacier the size of Manhattan to be reduced to slush. That's less than an hour and a half to split up a glacier a whopping 250,000 years in the making. Yep, it's kind of mind-blowing, isn't it? We can't imagine what it must be like to witness a glacier calving in real life. We'd be reaching for our life jackets pronto. Oval-shaped ice do you ever feel like the world holds secrets that are just waiting to be uncovered? Well, conspiracy theorists believe that a mysterious city lies beneath the icy surface of Antarctica. And the recent discovery of a 400-foot structure on Google Earth is only adding fuel to the fire. Could this be evidence of the famed lost city of Atlantis? Well, you know what they say, anything is possible. Some scientists have speculated that this structure could be Sastergi a pattern created by strong winds in the Antarctic. But others are not so sure. After all, Sastergi usually has short, sharp edges, and this structure appears to be oval. Could this circular structure really be evidence of a lost civilization? Many people sure seem to think so. Not to mention the fact that a huge pyramid-like shape was discovered just months before. With these two discoveries, it's no wonder that rumors of a hidden city have been circulating for years. Could it be that this mythical city of gods and humans actually existed before the last ice age froze over the continent? We might never know, but it certainly is an intriguing thought. What do you guys think about this mysterious oval structure found in Antarctica? Is it a natural occurring phenomenon or proof of ancient life? Let us know in the comment section below. The Jade Iceberg Ah, the legendary jade iceberg. No, this isn't a giant jewel. It's a type of iceberg that has been baffling experts for over a century. Sailors and explorers to Antarctica since the early 1900s have been left in awe by the mysterious and magnificent jade and emerald green icebergs in the Southern Ocean. For over a hundred years, this question has enthralled Antarctic scientists and explorers alike. Fortunately, researchers have finally determined the source of these remarkable green hues. Experiments have shown that iron oxides from the seawater are the likely explanation. The yellow-tinted iron oxide combines with the natural blue of the frozen ice, much like when mixing together yellow and blue pigments. Blue-white glacial ice is the most commonly seen Antarctic iceberg, formed when the snow compacts over thousands of years. However, the unique jade icebergs are created when mineral-rich seawater freezes to the underside of an ice shelf and eventually breaks off. Yes, much like every other discovery in this mysterious continent, the mythical jade iceberg has a perfectly sound scientific explanation. Pretty incredible, right? Deep Ice Caves Tucked away between McMurdo Station and Scott Base lies a unique and magical glacial formation, the Erebus Ice Tongue. This icy tongue is created by an ice stream that moves faster than the surrounding ice, pushing out to the sea ahead of the glacier's edge. This activity must take place in a protected harbor to ensure the ice tongue remains intact, otherwise strong currents or collisions with icebergs could easily destroy it. The Erebus Ice Tongue is a popular attraction for the residents of McMurdo and Scott Base, who come to admire its cold, tranquil beauty. Not only that, but Weddell seals have even been known to visit the underwater caves located inside the Ice Tongue. 
Unfortunately, visiting this icy paradise is not an easy feat. It can only be accessed with a U.S. Antarctic program mountaineer and requires travel across the sea ice from McMurdo Station, a journey that is only possible for brief periods each year. Yes, visiting the Erebus Ice Tongue might be something you want to tick off your bucket list, but it's important to remember one very important rule. It's totally illegal to pee in these ice caves, you have been warned. Ernest Shackleton's Ship After a century of sinking to a watery grave, the incredible discovery of Ernest Shackleton's ship Endurance has rocked the exploring community. This ship really is the stuff of legend. Explorers have found the ship a whopping 10,000 feet at the bottom of the ocean. Footage of the ship really is an incredible sight. In fact, its name is still visible on the stern. And thanks to the freezing waters, the ship is in astonishingly good condition. The 28-man crew aboard the expedition from London experienced one of the greatest survival stories in history. When they hit ice, they were left with no choice but to trek across the sea ice, and the crew were forced to survive by hunting seals and penguins. After finding refuge on the uninhabited Elephant Island, Shackleton and a handful of the crew set sail on the lifeboat James Caird to South Georgia. After an astonishing 800-mile journey rowing to safety, they sought help from a whaling station. On his fourth and final rescue attempt, Shackleton managed to return to Elephant Island and pick up the rest of the crew in August 1916. Wow, now that's what we call an adventure. Endurance turned out to be an extremely fitting name for this incredible ship and its intrepid crew. Let's face it, Antarctica really is the last place in the world you would want to crash your ship. Penguin burgers, anybody? Benthic, ecologist, and diver. And now it's time for our final discovery. Meet a woman who has dedicated her life to diving into the freezing waters of Antarctica. Yes, most people would shudder at the mere thought of heading under this frigid water, but not this awe-inspiring scientist. Dr. Stacy Kim is an intrepid explorer who has been determined to uncover what lies beneath the icy depths of Antarctica. For years, she has been diving beneath the ice to document the benthic communities and their changes over time. But the depths of the Antarctic Ocean have posed a great challenge. Humans can only dive to a limited depth of about 100 feet before the extreme conditions become too hazardous. With no way to reach the depths of the ocean, Stacy's research was at a standstill, until her husband Bob Zook, a self-proclaimed gizmologist, stepped in and created SCINI, a diving robot capable of withstanding the harsh Antarctic waters. Robots to the rescue! SCINI made history by diving to a record-breaking depth of 680 feet. While Stacy and her team observed the incredible benthic communities of sponges and sea stars that have never been seen before. Yep, diving into the Antarctic Ocean is freezing cold work, but someone's gotta do it. How else would we find all the mysterious life forms lurking beneath the frozen ice? Dr. Stacy's mission is a daring one that will no doubt continue to uncover the world's mysterious deep beneath the Antarctic ice. Dr. Stacy Kim, we salute you. The world needs more explorers like you. Brr, we're feeling cold just thinking about this frozen continent. Yup, Antarctica may be freezing, but it's also fascinating. If only its landscape wasn't almost impossible for the average person to travel across. Just think of all the mysteries we might be able to solve. So which one of these unsettling discoveries in Antarctica grabbed your imagination? You can let us know exactly what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.